Juan, can we uh, can you take us through the goal line stand? Back to back plays made by you. What's that feeling like when you know you uh, made two huge plays? You get the ball back for the offense, and the crowd is going crazy. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think that's where uh, I thrive the most when my back's against the wall. Uh, but mainly, I, I just rely on everybody doing their job. You know, uh, I just knew I had a job to do, and putting a receiver right there probably wasn't the best decision. Uh, so just lived in the moment and boom, two back back plays, you know. And then one quick follow up, uh, you know, talk about the excitement. Was seeing Liatu get his first strip sack. Oh, yeah. NFL. Um, what was that like as a veteran knowing you seeing him compete and have and, and want to have those moments and he finally gets it? Right. Uh man, I was so excited for him, you know. He had been working like extremely hard just to get one, especially in like the last three weeks and I, it's so hard to get a sack in this league. And, I mean, that's going to be his first of many. He's a great talent. So, I, I was extremely excited for him to get, it, get his first one. Jake? Hey, Taekwon. So, after the first couple weeks when the opposing offense clearly was in run mode, what is it like for you guys to actually be ahead in the fourth and you get to pin your ears back and you get to rush the passer? Oh, I mean, it's a great feeling. You know, uh, when, you, when you actually, like, have a – decent lead and you know the fourth quarter comes around and you actually get to rush the passer you know uh that's that's mainly like what we're here for a majority of us so like we take pride in that we want to show that we can uh get off the field that during those moments get sacks you know you know just just affect the quarterback in any way possible joel uh taekwondo it do you guys need to face less play? I don't know how to ask this other than to say, do you guys need to face less plays? You guys have played like 237 <laughs> plays or something like that the first three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a lot of plays, you know, but, hey man, it's an opportunity. Each play is an opportunity for something special to happen. So, you know, you want to go, you want to cut down the plays, take the ball away, you know, it's on us. Steven? Hey, Taekwon, uh, down, excuse me, down there on the goal line, did you guys have um, – did you feel like you had a, a good sense of what might come your way? Like, did you have some good uh, scouting on on what they might do in that situation, or did you just, just react well? Uh, I think some of it was mainly reaction. Some of it was just uh, being instinctive, you know. Uh, and, I mean, it was on the way, the two-yard line, the one-yard line. So it was like – just being instinctive as a, as a defensive front, uh, you know, you had Grove, great, great get off. And then it was like uh, just the whole like side of the line just collapsed. So after that, I mean, it's, you just play real smart football. You got ZD on the back end running around, you know, especially on that speed option, like just try to feather it and slow, uh, slow the read down just a little bit, get, get a defense time to pursue over the top and then just make the play. And I guess uh, with with your guys' speed on defense, you feel like you, you're well equipped to to defend plays like that. That that speed option. Yeah, of course. I mean, speed is 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 a killer of all things. I, I believe you know it, you you just have to have that. You know, it's 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 definitely necessary, especially when you have uh, DeAndre Swift and Caleb running the ball at you on a speed option. Right. Then we'll take our last two from George and then JJ. Taekwon, uh speaking of the takeaways, Jalen Jones has the two interceptions. Law two forces the fumble. Uh, what does it say for the young guys to be the ones involved in, in those three takeaways on Sunday? Oh, it was major, you know, especially for those two. Uh, I think that was Jalen's first interception, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, he got two of them. So, I mean, that, that was that was big you know anytime you could get the ball the ball back to the offense just put up points you know is it's, it's a huge momentum swing and then you have a lot to he you know come around the edge I mean that's a big boost for us as a D-line I mean simply because he's in our room you call it selfish but I mean the kid works hard man he's he's one of us and uh I was it's always exciting just to get turnovers and takeaways but it, it means so much to us in the, in the NFL you know because it's so hard to come by, and we need those just to create points. And last question, JJ. 
Taekwon, Dio kind of talked to about how last week at halftime at Green Bay, it was sort of like a look yourself in the mirror moment. I, I guess, like, how did you guys as a front carry the momentum of the second half, stopping the run against Green Bay into this game against Chicago? Oh, we all knew we had a job to do. And the last thing, like, you want to do is, like, let someone down, you know. Stopping the run is, like, your pride. You know, you, you want to withstand, withhold, and, like, show who you are, you know. You want to remain confident in who you are. And, like, stopping the run is the biggest thing, I think, on defense. It's always number one because you don't want to, like, have anyone just running all over you, you know. So I, I take a lot of pride in stopping the run. The, the Just quick follow-up, the uh, third and one play or the third and goal play from the one before the speed right. option where they had the wide receiver right. on you. Uh, did did you, like, throw him into the running back to get the tackle? Like, how, how did that wind up going? Oh, I just remember getting my hands inside and I just ran my feet and then I ended up just tackling like both of them, I guess. <laughs>